Yes, hello, good evening and welcome to Jakarta. I'm Mr. Gary and this is English Speaking Skills. In this live stream we're going to be looking at uh, full adjectives. So those are words that have been modified to say with, all right, or with more. So we're going to get straight into this evening stream. No messing around and I'm going to first of all show you a little something that I think is a really good resource that will help you. Full, the word full, F-U-L, is regarded or is thought of as a suffix, meaning that F-U-L has been added to another word. All right, so we're going to look at some other examples of suffixes as well this evening so we'll touch on those a little bit but tonight we're going to concentrate mainly on full words so let's get started then and we'll have a look by if I show you this other little screen here and it's this one there we go so I'll ha happily read that out suffixes so you can make some nouns so a noun is a person a place or a thing person, place, or a thing. Now this works most of the time, but quite often as well, it doesn't work. All right. Uh, example, the word speech. We could say speechless, right? Meaning that someone has got no words to describe something. But if we say speechful, it's not really a word that works because a speech is obviously a written document or a spoken uh, speech which has been prepared so example I will write a speech for my wedding and then I will deliver that speech to my guests so I can't say speechful in that situation doesn't work let's look at some other ones so I'll just repeat that and start that again for you and uh, while we're just starting, I'll just make sure that obviously the audio's dialed in, guys. I always like to do a quick, <laughs> a quick audio check. I don't have any professionals behind me doing all of this stuff for me, unfortunately. I just work by myself, and that's that. So it's always a good tip when you're doing live to make sure that yes, everything is working fine. I always touch wood, touch my table, keep my fingers crossed, and hope <laughs> that nothing is going wrong. Start again. Suffixes. You can make some nouns or adjectives. Uh, sorry, you can make some nouns into adjectives or adjectives into nouns by adding suffixes. Those are extra letters at the end of the word. Now, we're talking tonight about full words. But here's an example as well, another one. You can make the noun noise. There is a lot of noise coming from next door. In that case, noise is acting as a noun. Into an adjective by removing the E and adding the Y to make noisy, N-O-I-S-Y, noisy. I could say the neighbor next door is very noisy. The child screams at unearthly hours. Here are some other examples of some suffixes. Able, 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 fashionable. Start at the beginning, sorry. Knowledge becomes knowledgeable. He has great knowledge, being a noun, and he is very knowledgeable. Okay. Fashion can become fashionable, and I'm just going into the uh, chat, and I can see a number of people saying, "Ha, oh, hello! What you are so talented? You help me understand grammar well. Thank you." Oh, hello! I'm not sure. It looks like we've got some new subscribers in I'm going to hide a couple of messages because they're, they're regarded as spam uh, and it says hi Mr. Gary hi hi I don't know perhaps you know me from my day job this is just a bit of fun I've been doing this for a while now um, 
and that's why I kind of practice. All right, that's why I practice. Looking into the camera is a zo is a skill on its own. So if you're joining me and you uh, you join my lessons at school, or you have uh, joined me in the past. Uh, hi sir, you are so talented, you help me understand grammar so well, thank you. Well that's good to hear, I always try my best and you'll notice that I'm looking down here, I'm lo I've got the handphone, uh, that's displaying the chat for me at the moment. Fashion becomes fashionable, comfort becomes comfortable. Uh, I know you from my school. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I'm not sure which school that is. Uh, but yes, please don't. There's no need to... Well, it's up to you. Do what you like in chat. Within reason, please. Thank you. Nature becomes natural. Natural, okay. Uh, he's a very natural speaker. She's a very natural musician. So that happens with, yes, okay, there's skill there, but it's almost as if you were born and that was your uh, predetermined course in life. And I like all the, I like seeing these emojis coming up. So it's always very nice if I see people joining. And uh, us, us, we've got dangerous. Danger becomes dangerous, okay? Playing by the railway lines is a danger to anybody. The train could hit you. Don't play by the railway lines. It's very dangerous. Fame becomes famous. No, I'm not famous. I'm not famous, believe it or not. I have a nice little YouTube channel. I'll tell you a little bit about that as we go through. Adventure becomes adventurous somebody who likes to take risks maybe do a little bit of exploring uh, who likes to live life to the fullest adventurous I think I'm quite adventurous I like going on walks hikes I like doing sport I like trying new things as well so that's always a good thing and I recommend that to anybody why health becomes healthy cream becomes creamy mess becomes messy okay his health is very good he is a very healthy person she has some excellent health uh display some excellent health uh habits all right we wouldn't say that normally she has very healthy habits so they're talking about an adjective as well. Cream becomes creamy. Uh, where do you put cream? Hmm. Well, I mean, I've seen some here in Jakarta. I have seen some places serving up. Um, what have I seen? Oh, yes. Some places serving up Coca-Cola with cream on the top. Ugh. They call it a float. Ooh, sounds terrible. I mean, Coca-Cola has a lot of sugar in it anyway. You don't need any more with the cream and, you know, those sweeteners and colorants and stuff. Uh, so, yes, cream becomes creamy. Cream goes into coffee, of course, doesn't it? Uh, some people drink tea with cream, believe it or not. And you might find clotted cream on a scone or a scone. However you wish to pronounce that, both are good in that, in that uh, situation. Mess! becomes messy uh, sun unts unts s unts it's a s sound import important becomes importance importance uh, she is a person of great importance in her community she manages the entire team patient when you're waiting for something um, please be patient while I open the room your patience is much appreciated okay I'm opening the room at this time uh, your patience is much appreciated violent 
uh, it's not a nice word is it it's very negative uh, becomes violence in that situation okay uh, there is a lot of violence around the world at the moment we know that if we're looking at the or watching the news regularly we will see that there's a lot of violence in different parts of the world it's not very nice it's definitely something I don't recommend <laughs> uh, or getting involved in uh, popular uh, becomes popularity okay we can have popularity some people are in different places will say oh it's a popularity contest all right uh, formal becomes formality formality something that should happen without any complications it is a formality now, example uh, he is signing for the new football team uh, all the contracts have been signed and it's the uh, fitness test is now just a formality all right regular regularity i have some regularity on youtube i have been doing videos and streams some of you know that all the for a long long time now and uh, it's something that i work on why do i do it well number one because there's nothing better to do at the moment at night time <laughs> number two um yeah I, I use it as a basis as a foundation to work on my day job okay like i say looking into the camera giving better presentations being able to set up equipment use different facilities and make sure that obviously i deliver the best possible thing i can do during my day time job all right some of you know that i teach uh, some spelling rules when the adjective or noun ends in e t or y sometimes it's spelling changes for example e hello palavi hello chloe hello what i'm not sure what the what channel is about but anyway welcome uh, nature becomes natural fame becomes famous t becomes s important becomes important patient becomes patience uh, e e happy lazy notice this y is producing a e sound okay happiness uh, she's a person full of great happiness in her life laziness and this is something that a lot of people suffer from uh, at the moment i think we've all become a bit lazy we're all stopping in at, uh, home we're doing all of these you know covid measures we've probably become a bit lazy i know myself i have become a bit lazy uh, i'm suffering maybe from a bit of laziness okay i want to i wanted to go to the gym today but uh, then i thought well now nah, i'm a bit lazy i don't want to do it to cheer someone up, uh, to make f someone feel happy, an anniversary, a day that is exactly a, num a year or a number of years after a particular event. For example, it's our 25th wedding anniversary. My parents had their 46th wedding anniversary uh, last week. So my mum and dad were delighted with that one, meaning extremely happy. Uh, a fancy dress party is a little bit different. A party where people dress up some some uh, in costumes, often dressed as famous people. All right, so we can have a look at those. Those are really good, a, a really good place to start. And these are typical uh, suffixes on words. All right, so we can see just how uh, important those are and we're going to have a little look at something else now and we said that in the stream uh, gary sir oh no she's so sad today oh no you could tell me why you're sad palavi that's okay no problem type something in the chat box and if i've got some advice for you i will give you that advice uh, a little bit later on okay um i'm just going to uh, yes, I, I, I know you're from school. Uh, you got this. Oh, thank you so much. 
I'm not sure how you people know me from school. Shelter in. I'm not sure what that means. Chloe Cristando. Okay. Hello, sir. You are so talented. You help me understand my grammar well. Thank you. You see? I do try. <laughs> uh, elbow cough. I'm not so sure what that's about, but there's some stuff. Good vibes. Yes, we've got some good vibes. Uh, hang on. What's the answer of... Let me let me just put this one on. I'm just reading the chat here. What is the answer of 1 plus 1? I've been working on this question for a while. I'm sorry this is too difficult, but I really need your help. Even if you're not a maths teacher, D. I, uh, what is 1 plus 1? Or is it 1 and 1? If it's 1 and 1, it's 11. 1 plus 1, it's 2. I think I think there's a bit of joking around going on in my chat here this evening. <laughs> you guys, honestly. Ah! <laughs> Let's have a look at something else that I've got uh, a little bit prepared for you. So we'll have a we'll go over there and have a little look at this one. And we're going to look at the full words, okay? So let's have a little look at this one. And uh, we're going to play as a single player. Get ready to play. A gate to the block. Why? Well, because I haven't signed up. I'm signed up for so many services. I don't need to sign up for any more. One. Wonderful. All right. The flowers had a wonderful fragrance. So what we have to do now wonderful. is spell wonderful. Anybody help me spell wonderful? <laughs> My God, thank you so much. You've got the right answer. <laughs> Always very nice. Let me let me just uh, have a little look at that. I'm just going to catch the stream up a little bit there. So, uh, yes, if you're... Let's have a look. Excuse me while I just try and catch the stream up on the, on the preview window here. I'm just looking at that. So, yes, uh, I'm not so sure if you can see that. Uh, we need to spell wonderful. Any volunteers to spell wonderful? Go on, try your best. Put it in chat. Spam the chat with the wonderful. Uh, tell me how wonderful you are. Tell me how wonderful I am. Uh, wonder means to think about something, doesn't it? But wonderful means that something is very good. Um, someone is, you know, really awesome. So let's have a look at that one. Uh, what says W O N D E R F U L W O N D E R F U L. Let's see if you're correct. Careful. Mm. Be careful not to lose your ticket. Good. Be careful. careful. Yes, I think someone's made a bit of a typo here on making this game. Making typos is a common problem. Making games, I can tell you about that. Uh, and it says, be careful not to lose your ticket. It should be Y-O-U-R, your ticket. And uh, if you know the answer to how to spell careful, okay, being careful, then we can uh, try there. And yes, well done, Chloe, as well. I think you got the correct answer. Careful. Can anyone spell that one for me? Put that in the in the chat there, and then we will have a look at that as well. Palavi, if you want to try, you know, join these things as well. Careful, Ishmael is here. Mohammed Ishmael is here. I've got careful from him, and uh, just recognizing those previous answers from what and wonderful. Okay, and careful. Okay, so let's get that onto the into the blank now so c a r e f u l beautiful oh beautiful a beautiful view from my balcony that's right you can beautiful. usually you'd use this uh, adjective for ladies or females uh, for gentlemen or boys you would probably say handsome all right handsome but uh, not for not for uh, gentlemen, this one. Beautiful is the word we're looking for. Go ahead and try and spell me that one. Oh, maybe I, maybe I 
cheated there a little bit or gave you a tip. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. I've tried to. I'm waiting on. I hope. Yes, B E A U T I F U L. You're not very weak. That's why you're here, isn't it? You're here to learn these new things, all right? So uh, practice those things. And uh, I'll share the link later on with this wishful. one if you want. There's some to really cute games. Wishful thinking. <coughs> wishful. To take a holiday now was wishful thinking. This is a sentence for me in real life. I would dearly love a holiday. Um, but circumstances mean that it's just not uh, not possible at the moment. Wishful, wishful thinking. So we in this situation. We have a wish, but we know that that event, whatever it is we wish for, is not likely to happen. Is it? It's not likely to happen. And uh, in that situation, it's called wishful. All right. Wishing for something that we know is unlikely to happen. Uh, wishful thinking. Uh, not much time left. Oh, actually, we're over the time. Wishful. I'll just to take a holiday now was wishful thinking. Yeah, to take a holiday wishful. now was wishful thinking. Uh, not many talking in the chat, so I'm going to help you with this one. Wish full. It's exactly as it sounds. All right. Cheerful. Cheerful. The color yellow indicates Good. A well done. Personality. Mr. Hassan cheerful. is there as well. Mr. Hassan, excellent job. He's got that one. Uh, another tricky one there. So uh, let's have a look. I'm just going to update the chat. If you don't know the answer, you know, guessing is a good way of getting the answer correct. All right. Guessing is the is a good way of getting it correct. So we'll just, um, excuse me a moment while I just read that. I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, it's nothing to do with me. Okay, right, so uh, let me just go and revise a couple of those as well. I'll put some of those. Mohammed Ishmael gets it correct, spot on. Uh, beautiful, he says beautiful, B E A U. T I F U L B E A U T I F U L B E A U T I F U L. Good. Okay, so let's have a look at this. I don't know the answer, sir. I'm a very weak student. Keep practicing, keep trying. All right. Um, Yes, we were talking about hard work earlier on in another uh, another stream with somebody. So, yeah, you've got to try hard, that's all, and learn as you go. If you've got a pen and paper handy, pencil handy, write these new words down, okay? Wishful from uh, Mr. Hassan. Uh, cheerful, C-H-E-E-R-F-U-L. C H double E R F U L. All right, good job, guys. We're doing really well on that one. Uh, cheerful Mohammed Ishmael and Sarah Ishmael is joining us as well from the Middle East. A very nice evening to you. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, so, yes, okay. Yeah, well, we don't, we, yes, excuse me while I just check that. Cheerful. So, let me get back into it. Right, C-H-E-E-R-F-U-L, cheerful. Okay, and grateful. check. Grateful. I now. I be grateful for your help with this project. Uh, absolutely. Grateful. Great means something that's very good, but to be full of appreciation all right so in this context uh, you appreciate or, or someone did some great work for you uh, you were very grateful for that work okay so let's have a look grateful and we've got g-r-a-t-e-f-u-l 
from Mr. Hassan there. G R A T E F U L. Let's have a look. Uh, Mohammed Ishmael, I think he agrees. He's in agreement. <laughs> He's in agreement. I'm just going to, yes, grateful. I'm highly grateful to you for your help and support, of course. It's really nice when we struggle with something and somebody helps us. We are very grateful for that help. I'm not sure. But I think maybe Pallavi's not there with us at the moment. I don't know. Uh, but if she is, uh, these are the words that, you know, you can write hopeful. them down. I was hopeful about the new job. That's right. Hopeful. Hope. Yes. Taken from the word hope. Hopeful. Okay, just add the F-U-L word on to the end there, and then suddenly we have hopeful. It me, It's a bit like wishful, isn't it? Uh, I'm very hopeful for Leeds United this evening that we get three points and a result against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, of course, if you know me, you know that I love football and I'm a Leeds United fan. We're struggling this year, and I'm hopeful that we don't get relegated into the championship and that we can stay in the Premier League. All right, so and I'm also hopeful that our best players uh, don't uh, get l lured away by huge contracts to other football clubs or other football teams. Let's have a look at that one. Forgetful. Hopeful. Oh, Mrs. Daly can be forgetful. Well, this is a forgetful. word forgetful forgetful can describe me sometimes uh, I think we can all be forgetful though if we're honest um, at some point in our lives everybody forgets something if, if I find one person on this earth who says I'm not forgetful you will have been at one point in your life we always forget something forgetful f-o-r-g E-T-F-U-L from Mr. Hassan. So Mr. Hassan says there, and I'm just going to highlight some of these on the screen. Sarah as well. Well done there, Sarah. Mohammed Ishmael, grateful. Hopeful. Uh, hopeful. Hopeful, yes, Sarah Ishmael, well done. Forgetful, good job, well done. You've got that one spot on. I think we're going to be acing this one, guys. Let's ace it. Uh, a, a nice bit of. Uh, let's have a look. Forgetful, F O R G E T F U L. Forgetful. We are increasingly becoming forgetful these days. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I think um, teachers are, are under immense pressure. All right. If we're working from home, and even if we're not, and we're in the school, we could be very forgetful. Uh, we have a million things to think about. We have to be extremely organized. Delightful. And uh, the day at the beach was delightful. Yes. Forgetful. Delightful. Forgetfulness is a problem for, for a lot of people, not just teachers. People in all walks of life suffer from a bit of forgetfulness. They uh, forget things that sh they shouldn't forget, but we do. Delightful from Mohammed Ishmael, has he got it? Let's have a look. We've got delightful, D-E-L-I-G-H-T-F-U-L delightful delightful and the reason we're doing this stream guys if you if you're unfamiliar is uh, we were asked by Mohammed from Egypt yesterday to do a all something to do with all so I decided oh what better thing to do than full all right all those full words so let's have a look at those uh, delightful a wonderful word it's delightful I went to a delightful concert yesterday. The singer was fantastic. Painful. When I broke my arm, it was very painful. Yes, don't ever painful. break your arm. Painful. Painful. I'm in great pain. 
There is a pain in my arm. It is very painful. Painful uh, is the word on on the chart at the moment. Um, if you want to hear it again, painful. Yes, something that's very uh, uncomfortable. Um, Mr. Hassan's got that one there, spot on. I think painful, and Mohammed Ishmael has got that one correct as well. Painful. Yes, and not a very nice, a, pl a very unpleasant uh, thing. Painful. Sarah Ismail also, she gets that one correct, I believe. Painful. Let's have a look. Let me see if that's correct. Uh, oh, I've typed it in the wrong box. I nearly, t <laughs> I nearly typed it in the chat box chat. Can you believe it? <laughs> You can't see, but I'm, uh, you know, flicking to and from different screens at the moment. So, yeah, painful. Let's have a look. Spot on. I think we've got ten out of... How many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, of course, we're going to start with the easy ones and then go on to something a little bit more complicated, a little bit more in-depth. All full full words okay <coughs> excuse me while i just have a little uh, little crock little frog in the throat there i think chat so i'm i've got some other things lined up for you as well um we're going to have a little look in uh, in this one here and uh, i really enjoyed playing games uh we've got some other ones here as well so let me just try and get these for you where I always say to my students and these are common things that teachers do right we do uh, word searches we might do other things as well uh, if you want links I'll put them later in the chat okay or in the comments just so you can see what we've been doing there and lots of other really useful uh, more probably unusual words there chat so I'm going to try and make some more activities and I'll publish those on my website later on at another date uh, let me see if I can just access that now I won't be a second while I do that uh, no 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 uh -huh. right is it that one there there we go all right chat we've got a little word search and we'll have a look at these as well. So we've got fruitful, fruitful. We don't have to do the word search, but it's always good to look at these other words and try to um, find out the meaning and the, and the definition of some of these. Some of these I've not really come across before, uh, like a bag full, a bag full. I'm not so sure about that one. Fruitful though. Fruitful means what? Chat. Have a little look. Have a little look. Oh, I can see one immediately right there. If you know chat as well, uh, you could always give me coordinate or something like that. Uh, helpful. Fruitful means something was very productive. All right. It means uh, we were having negotiations and they were very fruitful. Meaning that um, the, the negotiations benefited me. Have you ever been in a fruitful situation chat where you were doing something and whatever it was you were expecting turned out better than you hoped? And that's what fruitful is. Okay, a really nice word if you want to try and um, expand those vocabularies etc fruitful is a is a really good one i've not done a word search before on my the meeting was fruitful because we did what we planned yes that's right we we did what we planned fruitful and if you can see any others if you want to be helpful chat you could tell me where they are all right uh count the rows so uh, let's have a look at the rows one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so row twelve so 
R12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 by 12. So this second one I can see, bagful, would be row uh, 1, column 3. All right. Bagful. Bagful. And what is the meaning of this one? Well, let's have a look because I, I can think uh, he's got a bag full of uh, sweets, perhaps. Uh, as yes, that's right. A bag full meaning as much or as many as a bag will hold. All right. Um, you might hear if you. I mean, if you like, I keep talking about football, but. If you uh, like Cristiano Ronaldo, we could say that he's got a bag full of tricks, okay? Meaning that when he has the ball at his feet, you don't know what he will do next because his skill level is far beyond the average human being, all right? And far beyond most professional footballers. Bag full, okay? A bag full is a very good... Bagful is in the first line. Mohammed Ishmael spots that. Well done. This live stream is fruitful. Good job. Yes, well done. Uh, let's have a look. Headful. Headful. Well, I think that's going to be headful of ideas, isn't it? Um, something that you're thinking about. I mean, this, this, this. I, I think I just. I, I'm looking at this here, and I can see full. <laughs> So I'm thinking, oh, there must be something there, but it's not. There's nothing there on that one on like on row four. Uh, oh, cupful, of course. Cupful example, cup full of sugar. All right, cup full of. Of course, my favourite guys, a cup full of tea. A cup full of tea. All right, these are words that. Perhaps you might not use them very often, but when you come across them, uh, it, it, you know, you, you've got them in the locker. You can use them on there. Mohammed Ishmael says in column two, row three, column two, one, two, one, two, three. He says the uh, faithful. Is it this one here? Column. Hang on. Let's have a look. But faithful is in column two. That's this one. Row three. That's this one. Do you mean row three, column two? Row column two, row three. Faithful. It's there. It's not there. It's this one. So it's row two. Column three. All right. The columns are the down ones. The rows are the ones that go across so horizontal and vertical all right uh, vertical is the up and down horizontal is the is the one that goes across faithful well done Mohammed Ishmael that was a really good spot faithful um, someone who doesn't uh, who doesn't do bad things all right faithful um, so you can rely on that person, all right? I have great faith in someone to do something, okay? I'm very faithful that he will do it. I'm very faithful that they will do it. Um, I'm very faithful that she will do it, okay? And it's a word of great trust, isn't it? I think you have great trust. Yes, it's okay, don't worry. No problem. It did confuse me a little bit, but <laughs> don't worry. We got there in the end, didn't we? <laughs> this live stream is fruitful. Bagful is in the first line. Yes, we know that. Uh, faithful. Great trust, of course. And uh, yes, you, you got that right as well. So let's have a look at the other ones, guys. Have we got any other? Can we see any other ones there? I know there are there there are quite a few left. Useful is always a good one to know about. Okay, so I bought a vacuum cleaner and it was very useful. I bought a cot 
and one day it will be very useful I know when our little baby son decides to make an appearance um, oh I could see here this is a good one dreadful dreadful and uh, something that is extremely bad it's a very negative word dreadful um, the service in the restaurant was dreadful meaning that the uh, the, the waiter didn't come on time the food may have been cold you know the experience in the restaurant was very poor uh, not a good thing dreadful yes it was dreadful a, a very very negative word uh, but a great word to say anyway fruitful we've got fruitful haven't we oh hang on no we haven't I thought we'd got fruitful but obviously not Fruitful, he says, is in row five, column three. One, two, three, four, five. Here. It is, and it's down. It's a down word. Well done. And I think that will reveal a couple of other words as well um, as we go through. Um, because now I can see three or four more other words just from that, Mohammed Ismail. Well done. Uh, fruitful. We've already got that one, I think. Uh, we spoke about it earlier, fruitful. Um, yeah, because there was a line through it. Uh, fruitful, we've talked about it already, so we're not going to do that. Um, what's this here? Painful! See how quickly we're finding them now. We've already spoken about painful. Uh, headful. Your head is full, usually of something that you can't see, all right? Uh, my head is full of cold as well. It can mean that you've got like a headache, a, a very runny nose, something like that. Uh, a head full of ideas, a head full of thoughts. Um, lots and lots of ways you could use head full there. And uh, you can definitely see a few more. <laughs> they just keep appearing, don't they? Look at this backwards. Wishful. All right, <laughs> Mr. Gary said, yes, I can see more now. Uh, grateful. I think some of you have said, oh, we're very grateful for this stream. You know, it's, it's very useful. Uh, merciful yeah merciful so uh, a mouthful is the second to last row in column seven one two three four five six seven mouthful and that's going upwards well done Mohammed Ishmael good job uh, merciful let's just talk about that one for a moment uh, he's a very merciful person it means that you know example if someone does something wrong and you expect them to do something else but you're not going to get angry about it you're going to be like well it's kind of like relaxed uh, giving mercy upon somebody as well uh, merciful yeah she let's have a look we'll have a look at some examples of merciful because it's not a word I use very often. It's not one that I've uh, come across. Uh, let's have a listen. Merciful. To Merciful. Yeah, good job. Uh, example. Showing or exercising mercy. All right. It was the will of a merciful God that all should be saved. Uh, synonym words. Forgiving. Yeah, I said that. Compassionate, gracious, yeah, uh, lenient, lenient, clement, pitying of an event, merciful, coming as a mercy, bringing someone's relief from something unpleasant her death 
was a merciful release. Yeah, I remember when my auntie passed away, she had uh, cancer, and uh, let me tell you something, I was uh, mer merciful that, that when she passed away because the pain that she had to endure was uh, very terrible. It, 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 honestly, if you ever see that, it's, it's uh, heartbreaking and... Uh, it's terrible because you know someone's in so much pain and there's nothing you can do. Uh, other words from merciful, right? Merciful of compassionate, yes. Uh, merciful ruler, providing relief, a merciful end. Uh, examples of it in a sentence, he became less merciful to his enemies. Well, I mean, we don't want to go into politics here, but we know what's going on at the moment and... Uh, there's not much mercy in the in in certain parts of the world at the moment i can assure you he died a quick and merciful death all right yes we were talking about that earlier uh recent examples on the web and in disney's book boba fett uh has reimagined the character the fans always viewed as a soulless bounty hunter happy to work for the worst people in the galaxy into a merciful crime lord with a heart of gold uh number two the day after uh, another fiasco of a giant season this is a to do with american sport probably american football if you don't know what anything about that like me um don't worry it's merciful conclusion with a 22 7 home loss to washington so Washington scored 22 and the Giants scored 7. Uh, that dropped their record to 4-13. The team embarked on another overhaul. Maryland's drought. That's another word that people struggle with. Out. Drought. Came to a merciful end. So they're very thankful, I think. Thanks to a three-pointer by Redshirt Junior. Right, this is a, another one about sport. And it's um, it means that this team here haven't scored many points. or they ha uh, And they've finally got three points uh, by Redshirt Junior. Mimi Collins has saved the day as the buzzer sounded. That could be something to do with basketball. Um guys i know nothing about basketball i uh, i did play it uh hang on a minute we've got i've got some some comments here in the chat box just a moment i don't know how you know that mohammed ishmael because it's been a little while since we looked at the at the word search spoonful yes a spoonful he says it's in column two row five and he's absolutely correct it's upwards okay it's an upwards uh one i think column two row five yeah i i was hoping that you might count to the first letter so the first letter is s so just say bottom bottom row there it starts like i said it's the starting letter isn't it spoonful well, that's literally, I don't have a spoon with me, but uh, a spoonful of sugar, a spoonful of syrup, a spoonful of medicine. All right. Those are three examples where we could use spoonful. And then let's have a look at the next one. I think we're looking useful and joyful at the moment are the two remaining words. So let's have a little look. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Don't forget to... Oh, hang on. What's that? F. S just, just, no, it's not that. No. Uh, let's have a look. Joyful is in row eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight let's have a look where is it and let's have a look joyful hang on sarah ismail says joyful is in row eight where where is it 
this is why I love word searches because you you literally want to scream at them and go, ah, where is it? Ah! <laughs> um, row eight, you might have to give me a little bit more of a clue there. Is it up, down, left, or right? Is it back? It could be backwards. I'm looking for a full. Spoonful. Yeah, I've got spoonful, I think. Yeah, we've just done spoonful. So, yeah, that's okay. Good one. A spoonful of something. Maybe there's a delay on the chat here, guys. I'm... I think there could be a delay on the chat, so be patient while I just, uh, I'm trying to find Joyful. Ah! <laughs> joyful! Uh, somebody who's full, oh, hang on. Jay, got it. It's there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, row six. Uh, down to row six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and it's column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Column eight, row one, two, three, four, five, six, row six, row six, column eight. I think, yes, you're right, column eight. Ah. Yes, not row eight. Yes, I was confused, but we got there in the end. That's the important thing, isn't it? Useful! Where is useful? The last one is always the most difficult, but I think I've seen it. Uh, you, It's there, look. Well done, Mr. Gary. Congratulations. Uh, Mr. Gary got... Uh, let me have a look at that. Useful was on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, row nine, and it's uh, column eleven is the answer there. Column eleven, so uh, nine minutes, <laughs> fifteen seconds to do a word search. <laughs> Very good. Well, I mean, uh, let me have a look at the chat here, guys. I'm just going to display some stuff on the chat. What about a live stream on English suffixes like less, meant, ant, er, or, unts, etc. to form nouns, adjectives, and adverbs? It's going to be exciting. Um... I, I, I like the idea, I like the idea, and I appreciate ideas, but I will say this, I will say this, and I think uh, you can do, you can do too much, and, and what that means is, can I put all of those into one stream, that's going to be less than one hour, or a, an hour, I try to aim for about an hour with my streams now, uh, the answer is probably not and and what I like to think is uh, it's not gonna give enough time to give enough high quality examples alright uh, and a lot of learners I think need a lot of repetition a lot of examples especially with these trickier words okay I can literally just give the words yeah I just give the words but um, I also think that if we look at that word search there, we've only done uh, how many words? Not many. And we at the very beginning we had a, a 10 words. And once you start adding context and talking about those words, giving those examples, you know, boom, it's an hour. It, it, that's 30 minutes gone. Whew, flies by uh, for 10 words. Then we do the word search. Then I'm like, yes, we've done quite a lot there already. And for for earlier learners, you know, I think Pallavi said earlier on she's a bit weak. Perhaps it's a little bit too much. I don't want to, you know, th just throw words randomly. Um, a little bit at a time. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it's... 
it's difficult, isn't it, with English? I think we have to try to be mindful about how people learn, and that's the main thing. And I don't want to try and ov overload people with. Uh, yeah, I mean, a series is a good idea, and we could certainly expand this series uh, as we go through. I don't see why not. Um, I'm just going to highlight those. I think that's a very good idea, Mr. Hassan. So I will let me go back up there and I will take a screen print of it. So there we go. We have a screen print and then I can develop those ideas. Develop gives me a little bit of time to develop the games and the material that might be needed, especially in a live stream situation. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, good idea. Spoonful from Mohammed Ishmael there. Good job. Uh, joyful. Yes, spoonful. So just literally a spoonful of something. Sugar, medicine. Uh, a spoonful of rice. Yeah, a spoonful of rice. And bear in mind, we're not taught we could be talking about a serving spoon. All right. Which would have a lot greater volume than, say, a tablespoon or a teaspoon I could go get you some spoons and then I, I know you know what I'm talking about but I'm sure uh, I'm sure you know what I'm talking <laughs> the volume of a spoon <laughs> spoonful yes we got that one good we got there in the end uh, joyful uh, she's a person she's very joyful today he's very he's a very joyful person uh, Mr. Gary ha feels great joy when he does the live streams. He does them for fun and uses it to develop uh, ideas for lessons as well. So, yeah, of course. Uh, joyful. Sorry, Ismail get, got that one correct. Column B. Uh, what about doing a series? Yes, that's what we've just read that one out, so that's okay. I like highlighting the comments. Uh, you're absolutely right. I think series of stream ants. If you have a preference, see what I did there. If you have a preference about the next stream, which one we should do? Uh, by all means, let me know, and uh, I'll I'll try and prepare a little bit of something. A lot of you know some planning does go in behind the scenes before I start a live stream looking at the at the the relevant activities make sure that you know i've got something to show on the screen you don't want to just see me rambling on for an hour at least there's some graphical and um some entertainment in, in the live streams all right i try to keep them as interesting as as possible <laughs> um but the preparation side of it you know I could spend quite easily two hours, maybe three hours, even preparing a live stream. You know, especially the games. Uh, you'll know yourself if you you're doing the word wall ones. Um, those take a lot of preparation. Target vocabulary. How are we going to deliver this? Is it going to be beneficial to the learners? These are all questions that I'm asking myself in the background. And uh, yes, of course. Uh, let's have a look. And uh, Mr. Hassan says, I think it's a good chance to practice using English vocabulary. If you ask us to use these words, we are learning in meaningful examples. Yeah, I mean, it, it's quite difficult with the live stream because there's always a bit of a delay. And uh, I try to avoid that. One second, light's gone out. Wait, wait one second while I just reactivate the light. I need a USB switch, a, a USB extension box. Because honestly, if you saw my desk right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, going back to that point. Just, just a second. There. Going back to that point, I think we have to try and. Um, you know it's great if people type it's even better if someone wants to join on the live stream and you know have a little conversation uh, you know by all means 
let me know if you want to do that and then if you want to join the live stream um, then we can do something like that you know I can send a link out you click the link and uh, you can join the live stream if you want to talk to me about these things maybe you've got some other examples and that's for anybody really who wants to join I think you've seen it in the past where I've had a guest. I can invite guests onto the stream. So, yeah, very good. Well, I hope you enjoyed joining this evening's live stream. I hope you enjoyed learning those words or using those words, uh, writing those words down. And, um, you know, the spelling side of it is, is one for, for people as well. Grateful is one that students always have a problem with. Uh, because they think great they think the word great okay well if we spell the word great okay then it's G-R-E-A-T but as we know with grateful it's not it's G-R-A-T-E F-U-L and that's something that always catches uh, my learners out you know they have uh, little issues sometimes when they're trying to learn that so there we go all right uh, i think that's it if there are no further questions mr hassan as always some very good ideas great contributions from everybody without you these live streams are you know it, it's difficult for me to do anything and it i always love it when people join the live stream join the chat and uh, give ideas and, and discuss points so yeah, we'll try and make it a little bit more interactive. I think that's your main takeaway from today's uh, session. So uh, I'll bear that in mind. Think about how we can do that a little bit more effectively. For now, thank you so much for joining. If you'd like to, if you found it beneficial, I'll leave a playlist up here and an, another video recommendation here. And if you want to subscribe, go over here press that little red button that always helps little thumbs up and if you want to leave a comment again make sure uh, i'll try and reply as soon as possible thank you so much for joining me today take care of yourselves look after yourselves stay safe and i'll see you all very very soon bye bye now